Good evening, dear brothers and sisters. Uh, my subject for tonight is divine liturgy and why it is important to be present in divine liturgy because we, we receive Christ and we are connected with Christ. We are receiving uh, his most holy body and blood as it was said by him. Participation in divine liturgy is the most important activity in the life of Christian. During the divine liturgy, we commune with God through his word. Jesus Christ is made present to us through the words of Holy Scripture and in the holy mystery of the Eucharist. Orthodox Christian worship in biblical is biblical worship. The Psalms are integral part of the celebration and the other hymns and prayers are based upon and often simply uh, paraphrased uh, of the Holy Scripture. By participating actively in the liturgy, we experience the reality that Scripture is not just for reading but for prayer and worship as well. As the Orthodox Christians, we do not just read the scripture, we pray the scriptures. After baptism, our most important sacrament act is participation in the Holy Eucharist. We are baptized only once, but participation in the Eucharist as often as possible. Our participation in the Eucharist, uh, unless uh, to us, to Christ, is very concerned, personal way. Uh, we can consume the broken body and spilled blood of our Lord. We fulfill his commandment given at the Last Supper. Do this in commemoration of Him. By consuming the body of Christ, we become the body of Christ, the Church. Our preparation for Holy Communion consists of fasting, confession of sins, and prayer. When approaching for Holy Communion, we should read the rite of preparation given in, in the Book of Prayers before Divine Liturgy as a spiritual contemplation upon the great mysteries we will be participating in. Likewise, we read the prayers of thanksgiving after communion and the end of the liturgy with the gratitude to God for his great sacrificial love for us. It is important to remember that the liturgy is not something that the clergy and trained singers perform while everyone else just observes or listens. The Greek word liturgia, from which we derive the word liturgy, means the work of the people. Through this divine work, uh, through the serving, singing, praying, supplication, listening to God's word, receiving the Eucharist, we experience the presence of God's kingdom on earth. In accordance with the biblical tradition, the liturgical day begins with the Vespers, usually served around the time of setting of sun. Vespers is followed by complying after the supper service, the midnight office matins, then the first, third, sixth, and the ninth hours. The divine liturgy is usually served after six hours, about 9 a.m. And in our church traditions, is a common for a pious layman or woman to read the third hour 
and six hours before Holy Divine Liturgy. While the hours are being read, the priest performs proscomedia, or liturgy of preparation, at the table of oblation, in the altar area, receiving the gifts of bread and wine from the faithful and preparing them to be offered at the liturgy. According to pious custom, the faithful offer lists the names of both the living and the dead or deceased at the prosper small altar breaths, which the priest removes small uh, partials, uh, which were placed on discos as a commemoration. Uh, he commemorates them. Both reading or listening to the hours before liturgy, as well as uh, offering the names and the prosphory for liturgy, are faithful ways to make our worship more mindful and personal. May liturgy be uh, for all those who participate, active working to become uh, and contributing members of the church and lead those who wish to become more active and understanding a greater profound gift that the liturgy is offered from the pure heart by the people of God gathering together in worship. It is very important to read a prayer upon entering in church and I will read a prayer together with you. I rejoiced when they said to me, let us go uh, to the house of Lord. I enter your house with thanksgiving, O Lord, and worship your holy temple in fear of you. Guide me, Lord, in your righteousness. Direct your path before me, that uh, unharmed with a pure heart, and the, with the right spirit, I may glorify one Godhead, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever unto ages of ages. Amen. Uh, beloved brothers and sisters, it is very important to be present in Divine Liturgy, to receive Holy Communion. If we are just in Divine Liturgy, observing and not receiving Holy Communion, Body and Blood of Christ, we wasted our time. We need to unite ourselves with Christ, who is God and man at the same time. Blessing of Lord be upon you. Amen.